Do you feel you know what to do in managing your time and prioritizing your habits, but you aren't really sure how to do it within your life? It can be frustrating seeing all these time management tips and productivity hacks, but with no real meat as to how to implement this within your specific life. You could be thinking like, where should my focus be? How can I do that with little kids? Or how can I do that being a stay-at-home mom? Maybe that might work for them, but that definitely won't be able to fit into my life and my lifestyle. Well, let me tell you something. It doesn't have to. You're frustrated because it is frustrating seeing all these black and white hustle mentality tips out there. Today's episode is catered to you, customized to your life because you hold the pen, mama. We are going to be talking about how a 10-minute weekly reflection and prep exercise can help you in not only managing your time, but also prioritizing your habits to bring joy and peace and clarity back into your life. Let's get to it. Hey mama, welcome to the Balanced Mom Method Podcast. I know you're here because you're tired of living day after day like you're drowning in the responsibilities of motherhood. You're done struggling with trying to find the time and energy to get it all done every day. And you want to show your little ones a good example, but you're so exhausted, which has your negative self-talk on repeat, your patience spread thin, and you feel like you're losing yourself a little more every day. Plus, the mom guilt, societal comparison game, and unpredictabilities of motherhood just does not help in trying to make a change. Well, sweet friend, this podcast will guide you on how to connect with yourself to break free from that survival mode cycle, all by identifying and possibly simplifying your habits. Hey, I'm Jenna, and I've been where you are. I was consumed in the struggles of motherhood, and I needed to make a change to take back control of my time, energy, identity, and life. And in finding that freedom, it became my mission to help make that connection with moms that we can give our children and families the best and not at the expense of our own health, self, and well-being. Moms shouldn't have to choose between their families, priorities, and themselves. We can balance it all, and it all starts within ourselves. Let me take your hand and make that connection with you and equip you with simple lifelong habits. If you are ready to say goodbye to just surviving and finally reclaim your life and motherhood, then you are in the right place. Let's get to the root of cultivating real change because it's time to feel like you again. Warm up that cold coffee, pop in your earbuds and tighten that top knot, mama. Let's overcome together. All right, mama, y'all should know by now that I do not agree with the societal standard that motherhood equals survival mode. Yeah, we all go through seasons and we have times where we're just focusing on bare minimum and just getting through the day. I get it. I've been there. I still go there, (laughs) right? But the stigma and the weight that survival mode holds over moms is what I don't agree with. Because when we're in that tough season or in a time where we feel like that we're just surviving, getting through the days... That correlation of motherhood equals survival mode sticks in our minds then, and we condition ourselves that it's just meant to be this way, or that's the way it's just supposed to be, and we don't proactively take control to work ourselves out of it. Gosh, I remember just the thick of feeling panicky and anxious all the time, overwhelmed and lost day after day. I slowly lost touch of who I was through that process, and I felt like I was drowning And I just couldn't catch my breath. Those constant thoughts that would race around in my head, I could never come to a conclusion with. And I couldn't shut those millions of tabs open in my head. I would struggle with what used to come so naturally to me was now this lost sense of a hobby that once was that I didn't know if I'd ever find that time for it again. I was struggling. I was in that quote unquote survival mode. But there was a me buried somewhere underneath the mom, the wife, the daughter, the friend. But I struggled finding her. And the role of mom put like an eclipse on everything. And it consumed my identity. It brought me down everywhere. Until it didn't. And what lies between that pause was not an easy journey, but one that was so worth it. And what saved me? What brought me out of that survival mode blur was being intentional in how I showed up for my life and actually showing up for my life, (laughs) connecting back to me and disconnecting from what I felt society wanted me to be and the expectations and the pressures. I wanted to let go of that weight, that stigma. And I created mindful habits, 
to be consistent in doing that. Anchoring simple, sustainable habits together to become the lifestyle that I desired, to give some of me back to me. And yes, I still am a mom, a wife, a daughter, a friend. I am all these other roles still, but my identity is still me. I am still Jenna. So those mindful habits that allow me to become, to live that lifestyle that I desired, things like establishing a morning routine, really honing in on my morning mindset routine, daily gratitude, the stillness and meditation and prayer, reconnecting to myself, learning the importance of that, right? Writing things down to clear my headspace and being okay with pivoting when needed, revolving my life around priorities, simple meal prepping to be able to fill my body with nutritious food and cleaning as I go and not getting so hung up on, you know, just a dirty home, but only cleaning what's dirty and choosing sleep and moving my body and choosing to have a good life now. Really all the topics that we talk about on this show, all the things that we really dissect and I help you get to the root of within the Balanced Mom Method online course and coaching programs within your life. So hi, if this is maybe the first episode that you're hearing of the Balanced Mom Method podcast, hi, hello, (laughs) I am Jenna and I want you to know that there are a few things that I am insanely passionate about. One is guiding moms on how to reconnect to themselves and showing them the importance of starting within. And two, helping them overcome their survival mode cycle through number three is doing it using simple and sustainable habits that will not sacrifice your precious time and mental load. So thank you for being here with me on this show in our motherhood empowerment community. And if you're a student of mine, thank you for putting your trust in me to allow me to help you towards your breakthrough. Because the you buried under mom is vital. It's essential. It's important. And I want to help you hang on to her, reconnect to her, and break free from your survival mode cycle and those hurdles that are holding you back, those obstacles that that you can overcome to live a life that you love, that is full of peace and presence and confidence, clarity and balance. Because I know sometimes it's easier to just quote unquote, be busy, right? To throw yourself into something because you know it has to get done, but you're just busy being busy. You're staying numb and continuing to going through them. You're just going through those motions because you don't have to think for yourself. You're on autopilot. It's easier sometimes, right? It's easier to just be on autopilot because you know those things that have to get done. You just do them because it's easier. You desire the change, but you're not taking those steps towards it, right? Because it's easy to just stay stuck and thinking about all the what ifs or how my life could be. But you're just going through that same motion after motion after motion. You're allowing yourself to stay on autopilot because maybe you're scared of change. Maybe you're scared of you don't know how to start and implementing the change. Or you feel that you're just going to start and stop something. Or it's not going to help you really get to that desired lifestyle that you have so longed and tried to in the past and everything that you have done has not worked, so why try again? You might be experiencing a little bit of avoidance, unwilling to face what you really need to do because it's harder to be alone with ourselves, to listen to ourselves, to listen to those messages that come in, finding our true path, setting our own expectations, being in control of our own perspective. It's harder to do that than it is to do what's right in front of us, right? It can be easier to just go along with emotions, the expectations of others, even if it's uncomfortable, because it's, what's that saying? Choose your hard. It's going to be hard either way. So choose your hard. I know it's hard to face the challenge of stopping a vicious cycle and building your life based on what you want it to be and based on you taking back control. But we have to stop that mentality of just being on autopilot in order to do so. Show up to do the life work, to reconnect to yourself, to have heightened self-awareness, to reach self-revelation, to be intentional with self-reflection. So with that, I also feel that the hustle mentality also needs to take a hike (laughs) along with the identifying as a survival mode mom. 
So today's episode is short and sweet. It shares something that we really dive deep into in the Balanced Mom Method course and our coaching, and that is preparation and reflection to minimize and maybe even pre- prevent overwhelm and burnout and stress and that survival mode feeling to do some self-reflection and stay proactive in prioritizing you and your life to prevent survival mode. Amen to that. All right. I am going to share a weekly reflection and prep checklist that we go into on a deeper level within the course and our coaching. And it's a simple rundown of what we go through every week to prep for the week ahead. If you are a planner or not, I feel that being intentional with self and your life awareness is beneficial because it prevents being on autopilot, because you're being aware of your life. You're being intentional with knowing what's going on around you and not just going through the motions every day. So the results can be unbelievable. Maybe if you're in a place of hardship because you feel that it's unimaginable to break free from that cycle that you're living in now. And especially with such a simple weekly practice that can help reduce your stress and overwhelm and increase your time and energy and so much more. So circling back to the beginning of this episode, when I said, we probably know some things that we should be doing or shouldn't be doing, but we don't know how to implement them within our lives. That missing piece, all those freebies that you may have looked into or subscribed to for time management tips and this and that, That missing piece of that black and white time management hustle mentality is this. Before you can excel in managing your time, you have to know for what. What am I doing? Why am I doing it? Where is my focus? How do I feel? How do I want to feel? Connect to your life. So every week, take 10 minutes to connect back to you. Preferably, I suggest on a weekend to wrap your week up and to be proactive in starting a new one but to brain dump your thoughts and feelings and intentions to reset for that upcoming week. This simple life reflection helps to prevent that overwhelm, avoid that burnout, and reduces your chances of having that scatterbrained Monday morning. So pause me for a second, go grab a pen and paper, or open the notes app on your phone to write this down. Your week reflection and prep prompts. You ready? So what these are are just questions to reflect with yourself every week. And I have a graphic within our motherhood empowerment community and it lays it all out for you. And then we just kind of check box it every week and share within the group community if to just cheer each other on and for that accountability piece too, right? Accountability is huge. So your week reflection and prep prompts to go through every week are as follows. Number one, what are three great things that happened to me this past week? Number two, How do I want to feel this week in my inner health, in my motherhood, in my relationships? Number three, how can I create healthy habits to make the above happen? Number four, I wrote down my non-negotiable appointments for this coming week. Number five, what time will I get up in the mornings? Number six, and what time will I go to bed at night? Number seven, I wrote out what chores I had to do around the house this week. Number eight, I commit to my morning mindset routine this week. Number nine, I made my movement goal for the week. Number 10, I planned meals for the week and prepped if I was able. Number 11, I communicated with my significant other and or my children to get on the same page for the week. Now, if you and I work together or if you have enrolled in the Balanced Mom Method online course, we really dissect what these are, how they work within your life, and really the importance of why I chose these specific questions to reflect and prep on every week. So your homework after listening to this episode, I would love to have you, number one, first and foremost, start doing this every week. Start making, setting aside intentional, an intentional 10 minutes. It's only 10 minutes to be able to connect back to you. Reflect on your past week. Break that going through the motion autopilot nonsense that we get stuck in, in the busyness of life. And reflect back on your life from the past week and then being intentional and proactive in the week coming. Those 11 things, it's 11 questions. It takes 10 minutes. 
And I would love for you to join our motherhood empowerment community. This community, if you're not a part yet, it's we are a sisterhood of moms who learn together, grow together, cultivate a bond through motherhood. And this space is, of course, always open for questions and advice and to build authentic relationships to support each other, knowing that we're never alone. So I would love for you to join our motherhood empowerment community. Check the show notes for the link to join. And once you're in there within the group, go save that weekly reflection blank image. So you could just download it to your phone and then you could complete it every week. You could edit on your phone or however you want to do it and add little check boxes as you go, or you could write it down on a hard copy and journal as you go and however it works best for your life to be able to reflect on your week and your week ahead. And if you love that accountability piece, I think it's a huge part of the consistency piece of being able to continue to show up, being holding yourself accountable and having a group to help you do that. Share it in the comments of the weekly post so we can cheer you on. And since this is catered to you and your life, what would you add to this list to suit you within your life or this season of life? Go in our motherhood empowerment community and start that conversation. Share what you would add to this list of 11. What do you say? Go join our motherhood empowerment community. Join the conversation. And if you want a more intimate conversation, strategizing an in-depth plan for you to take back control and reclaim your life and motherhood wherever you feel like you are struggling most, you can always schedule a clarity call with me. This is a free 15-minute call where we talk about you, what your struggles are, what your goals are and aspirations are, dreams are how you want to feel, right? And then we could work up a plan together for you to get there. We are all different with different struggles, different seasons, different goals, different priorities, different lives, but we could all relate to motherhood, right? We can all connect through that solidarity and the feels and the hardships and just that umbrella of relatability that comes with being a mom. So take my hand, mama, take our hand. You do not have to be on your journey alone. Join our motherhood empowerment community and, or (laughs) schedule a clarity call with me. And that is what I have for you today. I hope it gave you some pep in your step and just empowerment to move forward. As I was jotting down an outline and just quick notes before I recorded this episode, I was thinking like, is this enough? Like, is this, it's, it's not enough content. It's not enough meat, but then here we are, you know, it's 16 minutes as it is because I, I bring the Holy Spirit in and I just bring, I allow the energy and just the bright vibration to speak through me through these episodes to hopefully give you the message that you need to hear. And it just dawned on me, and I know that I've said this in past episodes, it does not take radical, huge shifts to make amazing, monumental transformations. It's in our small daily habits. It's in a 10 minute exercise to do weekly, right? So it, it's not this Einstein genius, you know, formula to be able to, you know, reclaim yourself, to take back control of where those areas that you're struggling. And even sometimes I know, I know <laughs> that I overcomplicate, I overcomplicate the process, the process with getting you the message that, I'm trying to convey or I'm trying to teach on and it, it it it's not complicated. It really isn't. And I don't want to take that away from the hardships and complications within our life. That that can be very complex. And I feel like that's where that um we allow ourselves to think it's going to take this complicated process to overcome because the complication of the hardships that we're in, but it's not. It's in our small daily simple habits and starting within y'all know that (laughs) but that's totally off script that's just my little tangent to end the episode so until next week mama as always simply be you you have everything inside of you to reach your breakthrough i'm sending my love and light thank you for this episode ray will work for farming we mama will be you Thank you so much for spending this time with me on the Balanced Mom Method Podcast. I pray this episode has grown and helped you in some way. If it has, I'd be so grateful if you left a review sharing how it's impacted you. It truly lights me up hearing you're on your way to your breakthrough. 
And then please share this episode with another mom who may be struggling to remind her we are never alone. And remember, there isn't ever a one size fits all to overcoming our personal hardships, but there are a lot of parallels with how we show up to our lives and common habits we can make our own to live an intentional life full of peace, presence, confidence, clarity, and balance. Be sure to check the show notes for additional ways to connect with me, our mom community, and resources and courses for you to overcome your survival mode cycle once and for all with doable habits. Thank you. I appreciate all you are and all you do. Sending my love and light.